Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three line segments uh, A, E, E, F, uh, and uh, F, C are fully confined uh, in a blue square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these uh, angles are our 90 degrees angle. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, A, E is uh, one unit long. This segment uh, EF is uh, two units. And finally, this segment uh, FC is uh, three units long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are dealing with this uh, blue square ABCD, let me label uh, this side length uh, as uh, X. Then all these uh, side lengths are going to be X units uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. So therefore, our uh, blue square area is going to be X uh, square since the side length of the square is uh, X. And now our task is to find the value of uh, X square. And here's our next step. Now we are going to connect uh, these vertices A and uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next step. And we can see that uh, AC is the diagonal uh, of this uh, blue square and it uh, intersects uh, EF at this point uh, P. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, angle uh, is congruent to this uh, angle. They are our uh, vertical angles. And furthermore, we know that these uh, two angles are our 90 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this angle uh, as well. So therefore, we conclude that these are two right triangles uh, AEP and this other right triangle uh, CFP are our uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And here's our next step. Let's assume that this uh, tiny segment EP, I'm going to label this one as lowercase a. And we know that this uh, whole segment uh, EF is uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, PF is going to be 2 minus uh, A. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of side lengths uh, EP and AE is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, PF and FC. And now we can see our this uh, EP segment uh, length uh, is uh, lowercase a. So I'm going to replace that one with the lowercase a. Our segment AE length uh, is 1. So I'm going to replace that one with 1. Our segment uh, PF length uh, is uh, 2 minus a. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 2 minus a. And finally, FC length uh, in our case is uh, 3. So I'm going to replace that one with 3 over here. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, we are going to get uh, 3 times A equals to 2 minus uh, A. And now I'm going to move this uh, minus A on the other side. That is going to give us for A equals to 2. Let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate A. This 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore, uh, our lowercase a value simply turns out to be 1 divided by 2. So therefore, uh, our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 1 divided by 2. And likewise, if we substitute uh, a value as 1 divided by 2 over here, then this is going to become 2 minus uh, 1 divided by 2 and that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2. So thus our segment uh, EP length uh, turns out to be 1 divided by 2 and this uh, PF length uh, is uh, 3 divided by 2. And here's our next step. I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, 
a p as uh, lower case uh, m and this uh, segment uh, p c as uh, lower case n and now our task is uh, to find the value of lower case m and the value of lower case n as well and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle a e p and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase m whereas our two the legs are uh, one and one divided by two so therefore uh, i can fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, one square plus uh, one divided by two whole uh, square equals to m square so therefore uh, m square value turns out to be five divided by four and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase m value turns out to be square root of five divided by two so therefore our this uh, lowercase m value turns out to be square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, cfp and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase n whereas our two other legs are uh, 3 and 3 divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 3 square plus uh, 3 divided by 2 whole square equal to n square and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see our lowercase uh, n value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 so therefore i can see that this uh, lowercase n value turns out to be 3 times the square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, diagonal uh, ac is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two segments uh, ap and this segment uh, bc as you can see in this given equation and our uh, AP segment length is uh, square root of 5 divided by 2. So I'm going to substitute uh, that value square root of 5 divided by 2. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, PC length uh, is 3 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 2. So I'm going to replace that one with 3 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, if we simplify our uh, AC length uh, simply turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 5 units. So thus our diagonal uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 5. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ADC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here is our Pythagorean theorem once again. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 2 times square root of 5, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus likewise uh, x square is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square. And if we add these like terms, that's going to give us uh, 2x square equals to 20 on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our x square value turns out to be equal to 10. But then we know that our blue square area is being represented by x square. So therefore we conclude that uh, this blue square ABCD area turns out to be 10 uh, square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this blue square ABCD turns out to be 10 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.